Well, you might be hearing about dry January these days. It's where people take a break from drinking for the month. So in Minneapolis, an independent brewery is producing the first 0% alcohol craft beer in the country. We are going to try it for ourselves now, and we welcome Paul Perner, the co-founder of Hairless Dog Brewing Company, to Minnesota Life. Thanks for being here with us. Thanks so much for having us. So we were just talking, Hairless Dog only brews non-alcoholic beer. Correct. We are the country's first 0.0, .0 ABV craft. ABV means what? Alcohol by volume. So alcohol there is a true 0.0% alcohol in this beer. And, and what made you decide that you wanted to do beer this way? Sure. Um, well, my partner Jeff and I uh, were very social people and uh, we were very good friends and we had kids and grew up and did all those things and had jobs and decided that we really enjoyed beer and the people that we hung out with and the flavors of it and, you know, the craft beers that were coming up around here. But the hangovers and the high blood pressures and the waking up in the morning, getting the work done was a little bit more difficult as the years went along. So we decided it was probably time to, to make a couple of changes. At the time, um, what was available was probably made and still sitting in the cooler since Prohibition. There were just <laughs> weren't a lot of uh, options for us. And, and you know, you walked into a room with one of those beers back then and people would go, something's wrong yeah. with you. I right. don't necessarily know if I want to hang out with what you got going on. And so we decided we wanted to make a product that not just tasted great, but that people could really be proud of to, to show up and you know, live their lives again. You know, if when you make a decision to improve your life, you shouldn't be blocked out of the rest of the people that you love. What is the the magic to being able to come up with a beer like this? Because nobody else has done it. Sure. Uh, the vast majority of any beers that are out there right now are just regular beers with the alcohol removed, and they do that through a variety of, of methods. But when you take all of that out, you also take out the other good beer stuff that's in there, mm -hmm. the head retention and the body and everything. So you end up with kind of a beer-flavored seltzer. Which is great for some people, but for us, we wanted a big, giant craft beer experience like we had fallen in love with here. And so we set out to make a process where you don't have to remove the alcohol. So we don't create the alcohol in the first place so we can be sure that there's no alcohol in there and we don't have to destroy all of the other structure that's in there that holds all that stuff in there when you open up the can. Okay, can you tell us about some of these beers that you brought? Because, I mean, I'm looking at this guy right now. I like a really dark beer, and this is a really, really dark. I would love to. Thank you. That is our black ale, and that is kind of the one that started it all. That was my favorite recipe that I used to homebrew on, and that was the first recipe that we moved over into our non-alcoholic format. It is the most unique product in the non-alcoholic market right now. Because of our method, we can get much bigger and darker than other NA beers. And you so, take a drink out of that one. I was I'll take a drink out of the can. That okay. is our biggest and fullest one. And so that one comes in at about 80 calories and it has about 30 IBUs of bitterness to it, but it's big and rich and multi and smooth. Yeah. Um, this is good. And so that, that, that is really is my favorite. Very good. Yeah. I would I would have never guessed in a million years that that's That's a cold weather beer. And then this is the uh, the IPA. That is the IPA. That's our best seller. Uh, that one probably comes in at about 65 calories and about 35 to 40 IBUs. Citrusy. Thank you. It's and got it's a lot of citra hop too. to it. It's, uh, it's, I'm a big fan of the citra hop, and we built it into a lot. I of mean, with all due respect to all parties involved who are already making NA beers, if you've had a St. Pauli girl or a O'Doul's or whatever, this is just, it's apples to oranges here. This has real flavor. And Thank you, sir. <laughs> I would almost challenge someone to tell me that this doesn't have alcohol in it. It yeah. tastes so, I don't want to say authentic to make yours not be authentic, but I just had a beer this weekend and it tastes so the same. Oh, I appreciate that. You know that. what I mean? Try the lager. Good, yeah. Okay, in a, in a good beer way when you're craving a beer, you know? So this is our citra lager, which is kind of an homage to the citra mm -hmm. hop. It's got a lot of citrus to it, and then it's got a calamansi infusion to it, which is called a Filipino lime. And if you've ever seen one, it looks like a lime, but you cut it open and it looks like a... Uh, more of a, a cutie, like a mandarin. Yeah. And so it's got a little bit of a tangerine rind flavor to it. It's not that sweet nastiness to it. It's real. That is quite good. Okay, so tell us how people can get these because, I mean, Chris was saying you were introduced to this by the guy yeah. at your liquor store yeah. and you were saying that people are, sure. you're being requested more and more beer because people are requesting it when they go to restaurants yeah. and when they go to liquor stores. Yep, you can always go to our website, which is hdbrewing.com, and we have a store finder there that has, uh, you know, where we're available. Um, we are available in lots of bars and restaurants locally through our wonderful local distributor, J.J. Taylor, and we are also uh, available in the vast majority of local liquor stores. And then if you're out of town and you want to get us uh, anywhere else, you can go to Total Wine or BevMo, and we're available nationally. 
And there's a kit for January, right? We do. We have a series of dry January survival kits where you Love can kind of choose your own stuff and put some merchandise in there if you want to and walk around and let everybody know that you're smarter than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, thank you. This is so good. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very thank good. You so much. Have a great day. All right. Well, the Hairless Dog website, again, has a store finder to see where you can find it near you. If you weren't keeping notes there, we posted a link at minnesotalive.com. Coming up Thursday.